Hi, my name is Matt Goble, and I am the chaplain at the YMCA. And I am making this video because I am addressing a current problem in the crisis, which is my kids are well, well over anything to do with watching church online on Sunday mornings. Uh, I think probably the last thing that's going to come back to normal are churches. We're not going to go to church anytime soon. It's just the reality of it. And my kids uh, can't stand watching it. I'm not saying our church is producing bad stuff. I'm not saying that any church is producing bad stuff. But they don't want to look at another video. And so in my house, we started doing what we labeled as home church. Now, home church is just a phrase that we use of having church at home. And I wanted to give you some tips and tricks and then tell you some of the problems that I've already faced with it. Um, and I think there's going to be some pictures and a PDF or two that come along with this video to kind of go over what I said, but also kind of show you what actually happened. So quick home church agenda. Um, I plan for about seven minutes. Okay, seven minutes. So sometimes we watch a little bit of the church online. And then quickly it dispels into chaos, so we just stop. So what I do is I have the kids grab their Bibles. I have eight-year-old twins and a four-year-old. And have them grab their Bibles, tell them the story that we're going to talk about. I just tell them the topic. Currently we're reading through King David, which is a great thing for kids. Very easy object lessons, great moralities. Um, and it... David was a guy after God's own heart, so it's really great to use David. Uh, we went over 1 Samuel 16 this last Sunday, and one of the verses is, God does not look at the outside appearance, but he looks at the inner heart of a person. This is a great lesson for kids. So, had the kids get their Bibles, told them we were going to talk about this, had them look it up, then I had them close their Bibles, and I read the story to them. The kids have different translations. I'm an old man. I can read just fine. My kids can't read as well as I can, so I make them listen to me. I do not want the distraction of them reading their Bible to me with the other kids around. Um, at some point, my four-year-old is done with this whole thing, so I go turn on TV, and he can watch TV. Uh, my wife is actually doing online church, so she's not around for this last Sunday. I read the lesson to them. We talk about it. I try not to go down too many rabbit trails with them. Uh, they want to talk about every nuance in the story, which is fine. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. just depends on my mood. Talk about how God looks at the heart. Not much discussion on there. Then I send the kids away to a couple quiet corners in the house. They copy that particular verse down on paper. And then their job was to say a prayer about their heart. That it would be good, hopefully. I hope that was the prayer. Then they came back, they showed me the verses, I said a little simple prayer over them, thanking them that they're alive, that we're healthy, and end the scene. And that's that's what we did. Let me tell you what happened, though. Um, my daughter wrote down 1 Samuel 16, verse 3, which has nothing to do with what we were talking about. My son wrote down 1 Samuel 17, verse 7 which talks about Goliath, which has nothing that we were talking about. And I had actually made them go redo it. In the middle of this, my other son started building a tent. And that went into chaos as well. So um, I'd love to tell you that I preached this 45-minute sermon that the kids were enlightened by. Uh, but the reality was we had about an eight-minute discussion. I prayed for them. Hopefully they prayed for themselves. It set me up as some type of spiritual authority. You know, giving them some type of nugget on Sunday morning is good. Um, I'm always praying that God speaks to my kids, so that's something we always talk about. Um, but it wasn't elo uh, eloquent at all. It was definitely um, kind of tumbling through. But we did it, and it only took a few minutes. It was good, and... Frankly, I don't got much else going on right now in the weekends. So, just want to give you my thoughts on home church for your kids. Again, I think there's a PDF with this video. There are a couple pictures that may get put online with this video. 
Um, so if you have any questions or concerns or topics or you want to share some stories about doing home church, let me know because it's always interesting to hear uh, about other families and their attempt uh, to do something like this. Again, it's a great thing, and uh, God bless, and I hope it works out.